even though one of the screw seems to have been the reason for all of this infection in the sinus the other two screws in are really really hard as you can see it isn't budging that easy we have to remove all of them because the implant is also probably best removed now there you see it slowly moves but the interesting thing is on this radiograph and the scan the bone is totally united I think the whole infection is started from one screw oh, clinically looks like two now these and the, it was a four old plate that were used with four screws and uh, these two screws were like really really hard and also integrated but the other two screws were the reason we already removed them we're removing the last two we've used an extra oral approach because that's how it seems to have been done the first time there was a scar there we used the same scar to approach plus there was a sinus so the sinus tract was removed <coughs> It only takes four weeks for the bone to fuse after a fracture and so anyway it's not a bad thing that these implants are going off because it's about 12 weeks now so the job that these plates and screws would do is, is over <coughs> so we're doing this under local anesthesia and so when you are really applying pressure on the screw, the patient feels pressure and a lot of pressure is not comfortable. They will still not feel pain because all the nerves supplying the area have been blocked. Bilateral mental nerve now as you move towards the midline and so the plate has come.